I was born in the little town of Salina in the county of Sevier in the state of Utah in the year 1896, the 19th day of August. I lived in this little town until nearly all my life. When I was six years old, I started to the little chapel school, Presbyterian school it was, about three-fourths of a mile from where we lived, we used to walk to school and back home again every day, take our lunch and eat our lunch at school. Uh, when I got into the sixth grade, I left the school, went to the public school in the town of Salina. My first teacher was uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Scorup. Olivia Scorup is her name. She taught me in the sixth grade. And then in the seventh grade, her sister, Stina Scorup, got me. They were both good teachers. And in the eighth grade, a man by the name of uh, Joseph. Anderson taught me. Brother Anderson was a used to play basketball for the AC when he was going to school up there. So uh, he was interested in this sport and he introduced it into our school. I started to play basketball at that time. Played in the eighth grade school team. Then when I went to high school, I continued playing high, uh, basketball for the high school. And I played for the town team, for the American Legion team, and for the, the church team. Played quite a lot of basketball when I was young. Then later on, I, I refereed for two years. I didn't like that very well, though. They paid a little money, about $10 a game, but uh, I didn't like the comment I received from the spectators. So uh, I quit that. Two years was enough. Uh, in, in my high school, uh, my teacher's main teacher was a brother, uh, Allred. Lyle Allred, he was a very good teacher. He was the principal and taught most of my classes. I liked him. Then after graduating from high school, I went to the university for a part of a year, and then the war broke out. So I quit school and went back home for a while, then went into the Army. Uh, at home... I worked on the farm. My father had a little farm, about 50 acres, and I worked on that. Done chores or chores around the place, milk cows, cut wood. We used to uh, cut quite a lot of wood because uh, all we had for heat and, and uh, cooking was wood and, and coal, so it took quite a lot of wood, mostly a lot in the summertime because we didn't want to burn coal and made too much heat. So that was what my main chore was cutting wood, although I had three cows to melt for the time. For the time, only one. It depends on how my brother got around to doing it, too. In the Army, I went down to Camp Kearney. And uh, they... When they uh, examined me down there, they said I had a little trouble with my heart. They said, do you want to go home? And I said, no, I'd sooner stay. So I said, well, all right, we'll put you in a hospital. So they put, sent me up to the camp hospital to work. I didn't like that very well. But I, you don't have any choice when you get in the Army. You go where they tell you. So I was in the Army there for uh, about a year. And then I was discharged and come back to to uh, Utah again. I joined the American Legion. 
and uh, while in there, I served two terms as commander, one term as vice commander, and two terms as secretary. Then I met my uh, future wife, Katie, and uh, after uh, knowing her for a, a few years, we started going together. And we went together for about a year. Then uh, I came up to Garfield, started to work, and she went to uh, Idaho to live. And I sent for her, and she came back to Salt Lake City, and we were married in the Salt Lake uh, County, County building. We first lived in Garfield. And I lived there for several years, and I worked at the Utah Copper Company first as a, an oiler, then in, as a clerk in the oil house and uh, an assistant uh, foreman. Then after we lived in uh, Garfield for several years, they sold the place, and we moved to Magna. And uh, after we lived in Magna for a little while. Uh, we, I, uh, while I was living in Magna, we, I had a heart attack. I was in the hospital for a year, or uh, rather a month, not a year, a month. Uh, then I come home again. And uh, at this time, I retired from the work. I was 65 years old, so I retired and I've been living in, in Magna ever since. In 1933, missionaries started to come into our home. That's when we were living in Garfield. And... Uh, after they'd been uh, coming to a home for two or three months, why I joined the church, and then in uh, in 1946, Katie and I went to the temple and were married and had our endowments done, had the children sealed unto us. Uh, when I was in Salina, I graduated from high school there, and uh, I served uh, two years as president of the uh, North Severe High School Alumni Association. I was uh, kind of interested in, uh, in theater work down there. Uh, it was in about four or five plays while I lived there in Salina. And when I came to up to uh, Garfield, why, we were in another one. Katie and I, Roy and Ralph, all four of us was in the same play. It was a mutual play, the one the mutual gave there in the church. When I was in the church, the first assignment I had as an official of the church was uh, first counselor in the... Uh, the, uh, the elders quorum. Then I became the elders president. And uh, after uh, I be, became a high priest, I, I went uh, to work as a, I had the a position of a financial clerk in the bishopric. And I served as a secretary of the uh, Adult Aaronic Association. Uh, when I came over to Magna, I served as a, a leader of the high priest group in our ward. And while I was uh, in that capacity, I got a heart attack, and then I resigned. And after I came back home again, I became secretary of the same group, and I've been in that position practically ever since. That's all my church experiences.